Hey, you. What's up? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, one more week just pass it like a flash. Yeah. Way too much work going on right now. And we're still making these damn videos. <laughs> <laughs> and we're still having a hard time making it. But anyway. We had some technical difficulties this morning. Well, let's be honest with the audience. We are still having some technical <laughs> problems. But... I just told Rome, it's let's just, click the button it, and let's do it. Let's it's do it. probably headspace and timing for my exhaustion from the week. So, yeah. Bear with us. But hey, so, you are here. You are watching. So, let us know where you're from. Just drop a comment in the chat. Or don't. I prefer you do. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, today we're going to talk about kind of the differences between speed light and a, what, monolight? I think you got it. A monolight, yeah. Yeah. So. By the way, I, I learned something during this week that I didn't have the time to tell you. Hey, Brian. How are you, man? Nice to see you here, buddy. Back Brian on here. Ah. <laughs> uh, I, I learned something this week that I didn't have the time to to share with you. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, I always say that my monolights are Greca and uh, they are old and all that stuff. Uh, okay, my monolights broke last e last week. I took them to the shop; they fix it. But while I was researching for a, a, a shop to fix it, I just uh, learned something that. Uh, back when Godox was not a big thing, was a small company, a Brazilian company started to import Godox and put the tag. The name of this company is Greco. So I have a TC400 from Godox with another tag on it. <laughs> That's a replay or a, uh, what they call that, rebrand. Yes, it's rebrand is... Everybody's doing this, to be honest. Like, Godox, uh, uh, the AD600 has, like, few different names around the world. Yep. That's a fact. <laughs> yeah, they, uh... Well, we got, what? Flashpoint here that does it. We got... Uh, There's another brand in UK. I saw Gavin Howie saying the name, but I don't remember it anymore. Yeah, I can't either. And here in Brazil was Greca, and now I got you the their website, and they are not even doing that anymore. They are selling Godox because Godox is a big name now, so it's easier to sell. <laughs> Let's keep it Godox because we don't want anybody else to buy this other one. Yep. Yeah, buy Godox and buy new stuff. Don't buy old stuff like mine. Right. So yeah. Hey, uh, look at this. I can trigger my flesh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Things that make him happy. <laughs> yeah. From my room here. Oh, look at the flesh. <laughs> so. All right. So today we're doing this view into how the large and small light source can produce a shadow that is a softer or a harder shadow so you can actually understand the point of what a hard versus soft shadow is or um, how the light source can affect it technically if you remember from our last video we actually talked about how moving your light away creates a smaller light source that smaller light source creates a harder light okay um so basically okay which... so today we brought like uh uh two i have three sources there we can use uh i have a speed light at first i have a huge five feet umbrella and i have a street bank so we can see the differences in between each one and this as rome was saying uh it kind of talks to what we 
uh, uh, what we showed last time. Uh, there is the distance of the modifier, the distance of the light from the subject. Mm -hmm. And really, we should just keep it where they're all the same distance, same height. So that way we could show the distances as a smaller light source versus the larger one. So that way they they can clearly see the differences and what the hard versus soft is. And don't be upset because Rome is tired. He had a rough week. We can feel it in your voice, buddy. I'm sorry. It was a long <laughs> week good week but long week <laughs> so anyway while you talk i will start to prepare the things here so i can go there change microphones earbuds and all. yeah so in understanding uh sorry this is probably got zapped over here in uh understanding these soft a hard light source you know it's basically the um, shadow line is what you're looking at so looking at something that is hard is going to be a very pronounced shadow line um, you know if you're in full sun look down at your shadow when you'll see a perfect outline of you uh, whereas when it's cloudy, it's the larger light source because now the sun is spread out and you look at the shadow and that shadow is actually more dissipated, which is the soft light. Now, the sun is, you know, a little tiny speck in the sky, whereas the clouds take up the entire sky. So that, that's kind of what we're going to try to emulate here. It's going to be fun. So, um, well, he's getting set up. So he's going to use a speed light, which everybody knows is 75 watts. Okay. It's a very weak light, in my opinion. I don't like speed lights unless I have to use them. Um, slightly low audio level on room. Okay. A couple of DVDs. All right. Thanks, Ryan. <clears throat> That's probably because I'm talking low. There, I bumped it a couple dB. Should be good now. Um, so, you know, waiting to see. I'm watching his cams so I can see when he gives me the signal to bring him in. <laughs> Remember, I'm in Alabama. He's all the way in Brazil, so we can't just, like, coordinate. <laughs> uh, thanks, Brian. Uh, so, yeah, so it's a feat for us to make these videos because we have to kind of have this distance gap playing with the, the uh, fight of getting everything set up and put up together, so... I can see him in the studio. <laughs> and is there any questions on hard and soft light that anybody wants to know? And how does it make the difference? That's the question. So, and yes, I got a TV put back here. <laughs> How's it look? Does it look cool? The setup look cool? Maybe. So, Brian says, I hear you looking. I hear you're looking for you guys on Thursdays, but not easy to schedule, I'm guessing. Yeah. 
Yeah, we have been busy for all week, and we we decided to move it to Sundays because we don't do photo shoots on Sunday. So today would be basically the one day that we don't shoot photo shoots. So we're bringing them to Sunday to make it easier and knowing that people mostly don't do work on Sunday is one of the reasons why. So we oh, decided to bring it bring it to Sunday. Yep, we hear you. Oh, dear, sir. It's low, but yeah, we hear you. It's low? Yeah. Is it better now? It's low. It's too low yet? It sounds low over here. Hey, Brian, is it low over there? Mm, I can be low. I'm kind of hot, to be honest. It sounds low at my end, so I'm not sure. Brian, let us know in a second. So yeah, here's the thing about Brazil to America. I'm not there to mess with knobs while he's messing around and I can't fix it. Yeah, Brian, he was on his condenser mic earlier. Now he's on a lavalier mic, so. Yeah, it will be, the sound is gonna be a bit lower, but I think I can hear it. And I think it the volume be. is really low. It can be. I'm living here at. It's the same setting as it was before. Hey, Brian, can you hear Alex's is it voice? Now, Ron? Gotta love technology. like a photo shoot and everything goes wrong. Oh man, my computer crashed and now everything, everything was... Yeah, he said he could barely hear you. I thought so. So wait a second, I know what's happening. And now you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you now. Yeah. A little loud now. <laughs> <laughs> Is it better? A little bit lower. Lower? You want lower? Yeah, lower. Brian even said, ouch. <laughs> ouch. I'm sorry, Brian. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, we are back. Yeah, you're back. Okay, so going to another room. All right, you sound good now. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Okay, uh, hey, let me see which camera. Oh, Brian, just which think about this. I, I got headphones on. <laughs> oh, just wait one more second. I forgot something. All right. So, in about five seconds, we should see you. <laughs> what did you forget? Just need to bring this close. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's the second time. We're having a hard time to do it, but we're going to find our way to it. Look, there you, you are. There? Yeah. Okay. Are you? okay, now I can't hear you. <laughs> it ain't one thing, it's another. Say, huh? But if it ain't one thing, it's another. Yeah, but now it's working, I guess. Okay, which camera am I? This one? No, that one? This one. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Yep. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on, I guess, the flash. The speed light <sighs> flash. I just yeah, flashed my face. Don't look at it. <laughs> yeah, that's me. And today we're gonna use first the speed light, so I turn the umbrella off, turn the headlight off. 
speed light blasting. Uh, what you want, like, and now I, I learned from Rome that my tiles have one feet. So is three feet enough for you, Rome? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Bad humor. Flash one. Let's see where we are. We are at 6.3. So let's shoot and see if the other part of the tech is working, you know? Sure. Well, that's harsh. Uh, that's probably what it would be. Okay, maybe we should do more like a hand burn lighting or something more flattering because straight in the face. <laughs> do really an umbrella. Just throw an umbrella huh? and reverse it. Use an umbrella and reverse it. I have to grab an umbrella. I don't have any here. Yeah, I don't have any on my hand here. Oh, okay. But the point is you get the small one against the big one, isn't it? Yeah. So this would be like a loop light. Where's your gray card? Uh, and that's, do you have the pictures there? Are you getting them? Mm. Why you get them? I try to find an umbrella. Let's see what we got here. I see a bright little speck light. Is that an old one? That's what I see right there so far. Okay, I found it. I found the umbrella. This umbrella. Do you think this will happen? Will help? It, it could work. You gotta pull the handle off of the uh <laughs> I don't think the I pictures are not coming. Um why the pictures? Yeah. I'm gonna see your picture. What do I have to come through? Oh, see guys, this is what we mean by technical issues. It's strange. We tried doing Lightroom, but pulling it from the network into Lightroom, it didn't like. It is that really. Huh? There is a JPEG there. Yeah, there's a JPEG. It's right there. It's a white little speck. Huh. Sorry, my fault again. <laughs> As usual. So Brian says today is perfect timing. He just picked up a seven foot silver umbrella yesterday. He hasn't shot with it yet. He'll put it on there and start shooting because trust me, that's a good one. I like that umbrella personally. So. Oh God. What? <laughs> we have a problem here. Uh oh. Houston, we have a problem. There are 377 files being uploaded. Is your card formatted? Yeah. Yeah, we were looking at Capture One, but he doesn't have Capture One. Unfortunately, I don't believe this stuff, you know. Don't believe what.
We're like got dead silence now. Waiting on an image to come over to you. I have 300 files on the line to upload. This two what? is the 299 and the two in the 300 in the line. Is that the is that the photo shoot you did earlier? The yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you might want to stop. If I stop the pictures, they're not going to get to you. <laughs> well, I don't need those. No, the other ones. I can stop just, or I stop the whole service. Or I'd slap a new card in there and just start over. Sorry, folks, but Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> uh, we have a stupid Brazilian guy doing <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> We're exhausted. Excuse us. Let's take a folder out and see if it will just stop. All right. He tethers like 20 foot tether tools cable. But seeing they have a wireless solution now, but I haven't read any reviews of it. Actually, it's not that bad. That uh, tether tools, what's it called? Tether link? Something like that. I know somebody. Okay, Rome, I'm going to take some time here. Just give me a second. I come back. That's fine. So anyway, what you made me full screen for. <laughs> God, it's all me. All right. So while we're waiting for him, all right. Uh, one thing is, is, I don't know if you guys have known the new set that we have going right here. Right. I actually turned my office into the new set. So, what do y'all think? Y'all like it? We're getting all fancy schmancy, I guess. It's a smaller room, so my wife was getting mad because I was taking up a bunch of other rooms. Mm -hmm. But it's cool because now I have like a full DBX setup, so the audio should be like perfect, right? And. We are gearing up for a lot of training videos. Today is trying to do this live, and he's having a lot of issues out there. Hey, we are having a lot of issues, <laughs> not me. <laughs> I'm working fine here. Oh, God. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it it's completely my fault, you know. It's completely my fault. We're live. Could happen. Yeah, but could happen something that is easy to fix and fast, you know? <laughs> hey, this is a good time to say, if you're a photographer, you better learn how to think quick. Because here's an idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I made Rome smile. Yeah, I've been thinking... <laughs> He turned a frown upside down, I guess. Okay, uh, what is the problem here, guys? Just to let you know. Uh, I do all my backups uh, to Google Drive, and Google Drive is what I use to send the pictures for Rome to show that site. Uh, stupid me, 
yesterday I kind of just shut off Google Drive and I had to shoot. I shot like 400 images, raw files, and now they are uploading before the pictures I just took. So why don't you just stop your camera and it'll stop? I I'm taking the... I'm taking the folder out of the place where it uploads, but if I stop Google Drive, it will stop all the pictures, you know? We'll stop all the pictures. Yeah, if I turn on again, it will start from scratch. So there's no way out, you know? Yeah. What I'm Just doing is deleting the pictures. Take your, yeah, take your images. If you turn off your camera, you, it should say file not found. Yeah, it's what I, no, 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 it's not on the camera. That's the point. That's what you don't get. I already copied to the drive. That's why it's uploading, you know? Oh. I already took from the camera and copied to my hard drive. Well, so now I'm moving. Uh. Now I'm moving the folder away so we don't have that kind of problem. So about the tether cable, the tether cable is not a bad idea. We could do it with a tether cable, but the problem is not to bring the images to my computer here. The problem is to send the images to Rome there. Yeah, he syncs his hard drive to Google Drive. Or I mean? guess another thing we can do is this, wait. Why don't you just send it to a different i'll show the pictures on my screen let me see if i can do it yeah you will be sitting there <laughs> well at least you could say we're human Connecting here. Let's see. Interesting. Let's see if you pull it up on that camera view right there while you're in the other room I could just show that camera view just give me one second if this works it works so what we can do is it not be as good as it was before but we can do this uh, share screen and whoops and add screen <laughs> yeah I just can't control it so That's why we were trying to bring it to my location over here, so that way we could show and I can maneuver back and forth and stuff like that on the images. But it looks like we're not going to be able to this time. Yeah, we're not going to be able to maneuver. That makes me sad. You guys are seeing behind the scenes, really. Hey, did you turn your lavalier mic on?
Huh? I'm not hearing anything out of you, Lot Lee. See what we were saying? One thing after another. It's gotta be you. Oh, I heard something. Heard me? Yeah, I can hear you. Ah. Today's been you... one thing after the other, you know? That's what I just said. Come on. Okay, you cannot control the pictures, but at least we can see something. So, hard light. So, yeah. Oh, look, an umbrella, you found it. Yeah, of course I found it. <laughs> so, anyway. So, looking at this, guys, you can see how there's a super sharp shadow right on the nose. If you look at that nose shadow. You can see. I think the best way to see it is even the backdrop. Look at the backdrop. The shadow she put on the backdrop. Yeah. I mean, you can see the headline on the on the backdrop of that shadow. Too bad I can't make it bigger. Can you yeah, make that full screen? Make it full screen. Probably. But then you're not going to see the settings. But the settings doesn't matter anyway. Settings don't matter. Light change. <laughs> That's a little better. So, so now if you look at that, the head shadow in the back, you can see how defined it is. You can see the nose shadow, how defined it is. And you can see that cheek shadow that comes across her neck. How perfect of a line that is, right? The model is bored. The model's been dropped on her face. <laughs> It doesn't mean uh, the uh, hard light is that bad. Uh, of course, this is an exaggerated situation, but we could use some fuel. And yeah, the model is a little bothered because she couldn't do her job till now. <laughs> but now she's going to she, start. You're going to see by the end of this session, she will be smiling. <laughs> hmm. Let's All bring right. the umbrella here. Let's make the slide a bit bigger. So now what he's doing is he's adding the, the light. Now, one thing you want to notice about that, and I'm going to go to a different screen here, is notice how far away he is from the light. It's not right on top of the light, because why? you not letting it spread across the entire light source. Yeah, you don't want to do this. Right, because now you're only going to have you don't about do this. that much. Right. You want to get a bit more of space. Let's keep the distance so we'll bring it back a bit. Because now the distance of the light is counted from the end of the umbrella, not from the, the actual uh, uh, speed light. Let's raise it a bit. Where's my flash meter? I have my gray card, but we need to be a bit faster. <laughs> So now I'm at 2.5. I will say the statement that I wanted to say. Uh, I think this is channel A, if I can remember. Uh, to be like half power. Yeah, half power. So let's try again with this umbrella. And that's it. Does it show that? No, yeah. There it is. So now you just saw that change. I don't know if you noticed the change that just happened. So now if you look at that back shadow, it faded to like a very blurry back shadow, right? And then if you notice on the chin line, 
if I could zoom, which I can't because I can't control this computer from here. If I was to zoom in to that neckline, oh, is that the computer? Rome, this picture is getting, the pictures are getting there. Sorry, I forgot to share the screen. Uh, you have the pictures on your side already. In which folder? The same folder as usual. Oh, there you go. Hey, hey, hey. Now I can control it. Okay, finally, we're going somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't want that anymore. I'm trying to get pushed into this thing here. All right, so, here we go. <laughs> finally. All right. So now... Yeah. One important thing to notice there while Rob set up his side is that if you look to the image, this will relate to what we talked last week that was uh, the fall off. You can see that the fall off is very fast. It goes from the lights kind of close to the model. So it goes from uh, uh, really bright to really dark really fast. So the shadows are very deep. Yep. So if you look at like this area right here, if you see the neckline, see how the, the shadow looks, how it's starting to do that cast from light to dark. You kind of have that shadowy look to it, right? If you go to the nose, it's doing the same thing. It's starting to taper off. So, so that's a tapering. If I go to the other one, look at the difference. You see how crisp that shadow line is compared to the last one. You can see how it's starting to have that feathering of shadow. And I'll show you that neckline that I was telling you about. See how very defined this neckline is. If you switch over, see how it's starting to do a feathering. And we're still using a very small light source, but we added just a small reflector to that. Still, now I don't know. I don't know what size is this umbrella. I think the one over your head. No, no, the one, the small one. Oh, the small is a thirty-six inch. I mean, uh, twenty-three, twenty-three inch. Twenty-three, yeah, more twenty-three. It's a 23 inch standard umbrella. So okay. now we're going to turn on the big boy. So now we're going to be making this little 23 inch turn into a six foot, six and a half, five, five foot, five foot. Uh, no. five yeah. foot. So I can close my arms up a little bit. There we go. Yeah. The point here is, uh, this is my go to modifier i use it for everything <laughs> every time i'm gonna shoot some of someone i use this thing uh and it doesn't matter okay the light here is a 400 watt second light but it's not about the power of the light but it's about the size of the modifier uh why is not triggering Telling you, buddy, everything's going crazy here. Uh, so in this bit, in this picture here, you can see how large that softbox is. So you're talking a five foot spread over a distance. Okay. You don't have it aimed at her, do you? What? Huh? That's not aimed at her, is it? You're feathering. So 6.3. It's not in the right position to to shoot like him, but I don't know. Anything is just kind of in front of her, feather it down. Yeah. But I guess you're gonna see some difference. If the flash triggers. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see it trigger. No, it didn't. Now it does. No, yeah, it did. Maybe it takes some time. You can well, you can share my screen while the picture doesn't get you. You're not shooting. Uh, 
You're shooting at what? 60 frames a second or 25? Uh, what? The, the shutter? My shutter is 1 over 160. Uh, is the next first? Yeah, I didn't do anything. There it's it is. It's this one. Yeah, I know. I might not have to come into the other one. The black one just coded. in. Of course, it's a big mod fire, so we're going to light a bigger area of the picture of the mobile. So if you wrong, it's going to be the picture in a few seconds, so we could, we will be able to see the whole thing. But what happens is, if you look to the other pictures when Rome show you, you're going to see that the beam of light is very tighter. So the fall off in the chest and the, in the torso area is much faster. This one is a bigger light and it's hitting hair. So the fall off will be uh, uh, much slower because it's a bit more far too. That one was three or four feet away. This one is five to six feet away. Uh, is the picture there for you? Yep. Oh, good. So you can show the shadows now. So. I'm trying to be a guru at the same time over here. All right. So now, if we look at this, let's see if I can zoom this in. Too. There, that's better. All right. So now, if you want to look at the shadows, they're almost extinct, right? Because now the wraparound light's coming around. It's a huge light source. So think of this as being like a cloud, right? Instead of the sun, we're now at cloud. And the cloud creates a very soft, graduated shadow that really almost looks like there's no shadow at all. But you can see it right underneath that chin. And if we come over here, notice the background. All the shadowing is basically gone, just like as if you're in clouds. Right. And if you come over here, you can see that cheek shadow. So if we go back one, see how dark that cheek shadow is? If we come back to the real small pinpointed one, you're looking at even faster fall off, faster shadows, and more defined line, right? So this is the speed light by itself. This is a speed light with the 23 inch umbrella. And this is with the five foot umbrella. So you can see how it has dimension. You still see the dimension. Oh, the shadow in the cheek, I think is the best part because you can see under the cheekbones, is it gets a bit darker, but right. the gradient, the, the, the fall off is really slow. It's soft. It's very, very, very soft. And you can see how it kind of de defines the definition within her cheeks. And it doesn't overdo it. It's not black. It's almost to a 4 1 ratio, give or take. <clears throat> so that is what I see so far. So let's see. Yeah, and this is a good position too, if you can put the picture back. Uh, even if you put my, my, my screen, just share my screen. Uh, this is a good position, this one that we just took the picture right now. Uh, because it will carve the cheekbones. The light is coming like straight from up, up to down. So it will hit the cheekbones here. It will, uh, uh, illuminate this part of the face and you create a shadow down here. So that's very fat, flattering for a woman. Yep. Uh, women like the high cheekbones. This is one way to get it. Let's get. A bit smaller light. This is uh, 120, 135 per 30, I guess, 45. I don't know. I just like it. I use, I, I'm even, I even want to buy another one. Street box are amazing, you know? Now, this is what a one by three, right? One by three. Three will be no, it's bigger. Two by it's, four? It's like uh it's like two by four or two by no one by four, I guess. One by four, yeah. That's really yeah, something about. around that. So it's about right. 
of seven. So this is another right. position of the light, you know, be the same low. shadows, but... Can you lower your power what? more? Uh, yeah. What do you want? Well, you were shooting at 6.3, so I'd probably stay around there. Okay, you want to stay at 6.3, wait. That way it's a fair comparison. That's the problem with old flashes, you have to go there, and I jump it too much. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> you can see, this is why you have a gray card. Six by three. So this is more like a side light, so you're not going to give the same shadows. Be the opposite side, but yeah. Okay, so loading. Man, I wish I could just grab it. Move. Yeah, if you find any easier way to send the pictures from here to Rome, just let us know because this is getting a lot of work, and I don't want to have a computer here because if I'm shooting, it's hard to control the computer. So. If you know any way to send pictures to Rome, from here to Rome, uh, 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 there is not Google Drive, just let us know. Yeah. Did you get there? Yeah. No. Seriously? Hasn't even, hasn't even hit yours yet. Just give me a second. Ah, just change it. <laughs> Yeah, it's taking it a little bit. So now you can see the shadow is a little bit more feathered from what it was with the umbrella because the umbrella was a smaller source that it got slightly larger, which that large, slightly larger source created that nice graduation that goes in the neck area. You can see it quite well. And the nose, you can see that part also. And as soon as it ever gets over here, I can show you what I mean. But that's the crutch. All right, cool. So let's put over here. And why you do that? Oh, play. So, looking at it now, right? Now, this is with the one by four softbox. And you can see that gradation right there, how it goes from, you know, the light area and it moves over into a dark area. Um, notice the fall off is a little faster, especially from the, uh, the difference between that and the softbox right so wait what did i just need all right so here's the soft box right and you can see how that shadow just kind of almost disappeared which is really subtle right and then if you move to here now here's the one by four right and you can see how it's a lot more gradient okay and in the cheeks, you can see how that line is a little less defined of a line. Okay, so you have a little more softness. It's not as hard, it's softer, right, in light. So if we go look at this one, you can see how it's slightly harder, right? So you can see that de definition a little bit more. And then we go, this is the, just the speed light, which everybody knows that's the worst. <laughs> the speed light's the you worst. You are getting one more there. You are getting one more there that I just did with uh, the big one and the three boxes of ring light, just as a hair light. Wow. 
I haven't seen that yet. So there it is. All right. So now he mixed two. So now what he did was, as you can see the brightness right in this area here, which is the rim. Technically, it's a kicker coming off. And you can see that kicker kicking off the side of the arm, a little bit of the hair here, some of the clothes. You can see that the kicker is pushing a nice little, basically, it's one stop. It's bigger than hair. Off. Under. Yeah, one, um, one and a half. We'll yeah, stop it. We'll so, stop it your thirds. And you can see the shadow over here is still defined. You can still see the shadow here in the chin. You kind of got some haloing effect, but that's because she's a mannequin, and the mannequin reflects the light off the chest here and bounces it right back up. So yeah, if you get the part under the under the neck, the shadow of the chin, right? Down the shadow here, of the you, chin. You can see the shadowing. So then you, you can see, see how the, soft the shadow is, and then here's your highlight. You look a little hot there, homie. Yeah, you know, light meter. Yep. It always gives me like one or two thirds. Uh, do you uh, have your... Do you have gray your card? Yeah. Gray card? Yeah, if you give me a second, I'll come back there and make sure. Yeah. So now we're metering. I just want to see. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm right. We'll switch back. Okay, I'm switching. Just give me one second. <laughs> so he's at 6.3 with a meter. And looking at that mannequin, it looks hot. You there? Yeah. Okay. Because, yeah, look, looking at the way your meter just read that, I'm thinking you're hot. I am hot. Uh, you are thinking, I'm sure. And that's why I don't use meter for this shit. So, uh, which camera am I? Can right you put there. this camera? All of them are on right now. Uh, let's see. So F9. F9. And now, do you have your dome turned in or out? Uh, turn it in just to get just this light. I don't want yeah. to get any other. Uh, how, <laughs> you know, my my doll doesn't so, <laughs> have a hand to hold it. I thought you said it was so, six F6 earlier. No, no. When I change the lights, I change the settings. So oh, okay. Okay. then I come back to normal normal settings. I was uh, F nine on this, six point three yeah. on that one, or seven seven point one on that one. Okay, so hey, go remember, guys, your, go turn your computer to the picture so that way we can see it. Oh, and put in the histogram with it. See, it's hard for us to do this from a distance. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm trying to drown guys. That's a military well, if you want to see the live, the histogram, I'll have yeah, to you know how, live. You know how we had the settings? Just shrink it a little bit so you um, see settings. See how it is. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Never mind. You got it. Uh, okay. So now, let's see where he's at. Did you get something so now, there or not? Not yet. It takes a second. So if you look it on, doesn't the stay on the screen, the histogram is going to have one, two, three, four lines in it. So that means this gray line should be one, two, and a half. It doesn't stay on the screen. It doesn't work. It, has, it, has, it hasn't even popped up yet. I just lost your audio account here. Mm. Let's try this way. I showed the... Actually, hold on. 
I might have it over here. Right. I do have it over here. Just close out the stuff. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> so let's go again. You can see at least my settings. Probably the picture will pop up. So this. Well, actually. I'm pretty right. Thank Can you see the histogram? Yeah, for some yeah. reason I can't hear you. You shot that other one at F6. Yeah, I still have some things to figure out here. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I'm just looking at something here. In fact, this time it was pretty accurate. Yeah, you were F6.3 last time. Yeah, but I, I changed it. I changed the settings and I did another reading. It was F9 and... <sighs> How can I open this picture? Just give me one second. I have it over here. You have it? The gray card? Can you open, can you open the histogram? Oh, where is histogram? Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm opening it right here. I'm technically, yeah, I can. It's opening the camera off. <laughs> yeah. So here's the histogram. Let me see here right. so I can swallow you. So you are. I'm right in the middle of it. Mm. Yeah, you did. You're in the center. I'm really dead center. I'm really dead center with it. Don't give me the lines on this. It sucks. Yeah, I can do this. Wait. Uh, I can do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't see that. You're getting the reflection. Now, now you can see it. <laughs> yeah. It actually looks like it's just a little hair over. But yeah, it's there. It's pretty close. Anyway, guys, questions? A gente faz, Rafael, a gente faz. Vamos começar a fazer algumas em português. Vai ser mais difícil, mas a gente faz. Ou a gente coloca a legenda. Ok, Rafael is just asking for us to do this kind of show in Portuguese. No. <laughs> We're going to put some subtitles on it and make it easier. Uh, I wonder if any of the stream let the viewers select the camera. Oh, it, this platform lets you... Oh, let the viewers select the camera? No, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think... That that will be a lot of... a lot of. It will be a good thing, to be honest. It will be a good thing because you can you can see whatever see you want. What they want to see, but yeah, I don't see this thing allowing that. <laughs> yeah, we but... Don't uh, own, we don't own it. <laughs> we we have to you have you have to bear with us it's our second show trying to do this and turns out it's really hard it's really from hard distance, like really hard you See, know like if we were in the same room this would be so much easier 
Yeah, but you, you see the other dudes doing it, like uh, Daniel Norton, uh, Gavin, and all that. That's Don't, edited. No, 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 no. They they do lives. They do lives. Daniel Norton yeah, does a, a live every there every test. Yeah, that's the point. They don't do it alone. They have like a team doing it. It's just me and you here, and we are, I don't know how many miles away from each other. So it's really hard, guys. <laughs> and we're getting it. I think we're getting it. At least your lavalier sounds good. I'm not using the lavalier right now. No, when you walked out, you were. Yeah, uh, uh, we are fixing it. The lavalier is a good lavalier. It's not a bad one. Brian, just that you understand like how to make it work. Two more people for these things, because one has to be on my end and one has to be on his end, so we could do both of them at the same time. Yeah, but uh, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. We are yeah. finding. We are finding the 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 way through it. Uh, we're fighting the way through it. <laughs> we are fighting. Yeah, we are really fighting the way through it, and I'm pretty Fire sure. Uh, the next one, the next week, I think, do you know what we can do the next week? No. Remember our first ever show? No, you don't see. You don't care as much. Okay, I'm a veteran with short-term memory disability. <laughs> My long term Anyway, My short -term we short -term. did our, our first, well, our first show was about uh lighting setups for portraits we yeah. went through through all the the clock and i think we can do that on next week and it will be much better than this week I promise you guys if you say so don't you think we do <laughs> anyway we are on time we are on time to stop Anyway, you, so today we got through what we needed to show you, which was basically we wanted to show you how small light source versus a large, huge light source and in between to give you that idea and understanding of how that light creates the shadow. That was the point of this video. I think we successfully done that part. Yeah, and another thing that you we didn't mention during the test is that, okay, you saw the first picture with hard light. It was pretty nasty. It was ugly. It was not good. Uh, but just think about this. You can mix light. You can use hard light and soft light in the same image. And you can even do uh, a better than that because if you look through over the internet, you're going to see some setups where the dude has a huge modifier like mine or like Rome's because Rome's has a bigger one than me. Parabolic. He puts behind him and he used like a beauty dish or a standard reflector to throw light in the face of the model. So he mix the hard light with the soft light. You lost me. I lost you? <laughs> Big modifier where? Behind her? Yeah, behind me, I can put a big mod fire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can just do a clench, a clench, no, uh, 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 paramount light with a beauty dish right in the face of the model, you know? So using yeah. the beauty dish as a main and filling in with a lot of soft, flat light. Well, it would be flat if it was on top. Hmm? No, camera access behind me. Camera terrible. access. Camera access, the big modifier, yeah, and a paramount with a that's beauty high, dish. That's high key backlight. Backlight? No, front that's light. High, that's high key backlighting. If you got the big beauty or the big modifier back here, like a parabolic or four foot by seven foot, and right. all this is white. Now you're in high key, and then you're using the beauty dish to create a paramount butterfly light, right? So should I yeah, say? I, I'm talking about this, wait. Uh, share screen. Or do you mean uh, just having a silver back? I mean, uh, here's the bottle. Yeah. Here's the camera. Yeah. Uh, how do I turn this? This is the 
Parabolic. No, the parabolic. Parabolic behind you? Behind me. And the beauty dish. Uh, what is the beauty dish on this stuff? The one that looks uh, like a beauty dish. Yeah, uh, you know, you have a short memory, bad short memory. I have an eyesight that. <laughs> anyway, I use a, a standard reflector. And the beauty dish coming from up in a paramount well, position. That so would be you a film, film light. You're going to use this as a fill, and yeah. you're going to use this as a main. So you're going to get all the, the crispness from the hard light in the face if the skin is good. And you're going to get all the soft transitions with this feel. I saw this a lot over Instagram. Yeah, there's a lot of people that do that, but I don't. I like Anyways. the shadow for definition. That's just me. Now, I was thinking you were talking about putting it behind them, so that way they had this big huge pair of oh then you can them. oh gypsy jay is here man hey gypsy it's been a while man thanks for for being here man uh murat uh, i'll not screw up your name okay i'll not screw up your name hey how are you nice to have you here buddy <laughs> i'm gonna try murat demir murat demir it's kind of it's kind of hard for for Brazilians. Ha, I got it right. Nice to have you here, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have you here, guys. Follow, subscribe, leave a like for us, okay? Yep. Uh, so we, we can try to reach more people and make this thing better. And we promise these things are going to get better as we go along. We are literally trying to figure out how to do it from the U.S. all the way to Brazil and work on these things together. So. That's what we're we're just follow us. Hey, thank sweet. you, man. Awesome. We are trying. We are trying to make this better for everyone, and we are trying to share yeah. our knowledge to uh, uh, with everyone. Uh, but it's a journey. It's really hard. Okay. Now, so, just to, just so you guys know, I've been doing photography for a long time, right? Ninety seven to today. Okay. Yeah, you you not know you know that picture. Not you audio. know that. Another picture of Jesus eating with the people. Or he took yeah, it. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> so, so yeah, no. What gypsy say? Say, I've been trying to do more OCF finally, so I can always learn more lighting. Hey, everybody Man. learns more lighting, dude. I'm telling. We you, have a lot about lighting here. We've started doing light. And we're going to build this up more and more and more as it goes. Um, thank you, Marat Damir. Anyway, we are live on YouTube, Facebook, uh, yeah. Twitch every Sunday by 10 a.m. Uh, CST, 10 a.m. And noon yeah. at Brazil at BS, BS something. Yeah, Bullshit. we switched to this time because of the simple fact that we're not working on a Sunday. Yeah, <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> kind of. I'm not working on a Sunday. Yeah, usually we don't. Usually Sorry. don't. Let Let's put it this way. So yeah, so far we've been here now. Three? No, four months. Four months? You're crazy. Much more than that. We start back um, in, uh, in October. In October. Uh, October, November, so seven months. Damn, it's been seven months. Seven months, is, uh, yeah, five months is, yeah, five months more, and it will be a, a year here. And, I mean, it's awesome because we've grown from zero people, and now we're at, what, 3,000 subscribers? Almost 3,000 subscribers. Almost 3,000. Yeah. And then we also got, like, I don't know how many views. I yeah, know it, it, it is my ugly ass, so. <laughs> if, you think, if, you think, if you think about all the platforms, we have yeah. much more viewers. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. But anyway, like, we grow. We are growing up, uh, and we first fixed the set so we could talk, and now we are trying new things. We are doing straight from the studio back there. Uh, uh, just please bear with us. We gonna get better on edit, and we're gonna do it. A great show for you guys. And once I'm able to get into a studio, instead of being outside, yeah, I'll, I'll be able to do more things. 
But anyway, so far we're doing good. We're trying to get all this stuff together, wrapped up. I mean, these these things are are a lot of learning. Okay, the learning curve on this is is insane. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, and thanks, Brian. Have like, a nice Sunday, buddy. Like when I started this thing, I didn't think I was going to be buying some six hundred dollar microphone. No, like, no, 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 no. Let's not talk about money. Let's not talk about the, money. Uh, Let's not talk about gear. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> That's like a rabbit hole. Trust me. We've been, we were like, it's kind of. Oh, it's even. This will work. This will work. No, this will. It's work. even okay, worse than photography. This. It's even worse than photography because photography, you buy things for photography. Here you buy continuous lights, more cameras, more audio gear. More audio gear. Uh, and more then audio more gear audio gear, gear again. <laughs> I mean, it has literally been the biggest learning curve. And we've done it in less than seven months. So I'm pretty stoked about it because I think we're doing pretty damn good. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, we are. Oh shit! Sorry, we are we I mean, we. I mean, our, we're our much audio better. now sounds really well. That's one I thing so. I know. I've seen a lot of people saying to us is our audio sounds great. Our video is now on point. Our sets are now on point. I mean, now we are just developing the content, so we've gotten everything else taken care of, and learned it which is the biggest pain in the behind in the beginning. But don't tell me. Now about it. It. And yeah, actually yeah, we feel more comfortable around all of this. So we can, that was another thing when we started, this was probably the first time we've ever been in front of a camera. I know I have never been in front of a camera. And at first I was like, I hate this crap. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. It just, it felt weird to look at myself while I'm talking. Audio is really important. People could forgive a lot of things, but bad audio makes things. Yeah, exactly. And that's what we did not want, which I'm hoping we sound good now. You know, let right us know. now I think we do. This, right now this I is our, this is our setup for the setup. So I think we nailed this part and we're not audio engineers at all. Okay, this is a straight up learning day, <laughs> uh, learning <laughs> month and a half, two, three months. And I know personally, I have bought so much gear just for audio. I mean, insane amount. But I think we got it now set up in my office. I have a U desk, right? So you can see here's one end, here's the other end, right? And the U desk. Hold the fort one minute. Yeah. And on this U desk, if you look at this U desk, okay, I have everything is right in my arm's reach. So I could turn off, you know, let's see, my main. I mean, I do everything with switches. So I basically have now everything that you see here is all by basically like this little console right here. I mean, I feel like I'm in a Starship Enterprise. You want to know what it feels like. Um, but at the same time, this is what we wanted to do. So when we do start producing more of the video side of learning, we're going to actually be able to produce the good quality training instead of, uh, instead of this mediocre everything like that you know what i mean but anyway this show we had all kinds of crazy stuff happening so hopefully you guys stick with us because next show we're probably going to get better and the next show will get better and it's just going to get better from here right i mean it's gotten better since day one you know so uh as soon as he gets back i'll sign off but for now, anybody have any questions? See, that's the big thing right now is we need more participation in our Facebook group. We do have, by the way, a Facebook group. If you go to uh, Photo Talk Show, we 
answer a lot of questions in there, stuff like that. So, yeah, the link is not in the description right now, but I will put it as soon as we finish here. Yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I have to go lunch, uh, and we will be back next week with a good topic and with our stuff working this time. Yeah. <laughs> if not, I'm gonna go to Brazil and kick his butt, and I'll film it the whole time. <laughs> no, I'm just I'd have to get that yellow fever shot. I don't. I don't like shots. Yeah, but we don't have a yellow fever anymore here. We had know, a problem a few months ago, but now it's okay. I still need the shots, though. It's not fair. Okay. Thank you for watching. We we'll see you guys next week. Bye bye.